I made a calculator because people kept asking questions about DC to DC chargers. What wire and fuse do I need? So instead of calculating every different scenario, this calculator does the math for you and more importantly, it shows the reasoning behind the calculations. I always recommend to keep the wire from the starter battery to your household battery as short as possible. But sometimes that might not be possible. So let's see how the calculator works. We can do so by pressing the load example button. Then it will show all these values. But first let's show you the input side. So the starter battery is 12 volts. That's the alternator battery. And it's charging at 13.8 volts if it's lead acid. Then we have the household battery. 12, 24 or 48 volts. For now I'm choosing 12 volts. And that's charging at 14.4 volts. That's for lithium. Then we enter the DC to DC charger current. Sometimes this can be 15, 30 or 60 amps. So you have to write it here. And then we have the DC to DC charger efficiency. For a Victron Orion TR, this is 88% or 0.88. And then we can enter the allowed voltage drop. I'm using 3%, but you can also use 5%. And then we have the cable type. We can choose from regular cable at 90 degrees Celsius, 105 degree welding cable or marine cable or 200 degree Celsius silicon cable. I recommend using welding cable or marine cable. Then we go to input the cable lengths. You can do it in feet and meters. So 15 feet from the starter battery to the DC to DC charger and the output wire length is from the DC to DC charger to the household battery. And then we can press calculate and it will take us to the results summary. So this is the summary of the results on the input and this is the results on the output. And there is also a section that shows you how we end up with these values. And that section for the input is located right here. And the section for the output is located down the page right here. So let's go over the results. For the input, we recommend a 25mm square cable or a 4 gauge cable. And this is the link where you can get it. And then we have to size a fuse between 50 amps minimum and 125 amps maximum. So I recommend a 50 amp MIDI fuse. Which is also interesting is the estimated power loss over the cable on the input side as well as the output side. And this is the total wiring loss. In this case it's 27 watts. So let's take a look how we ended up with these values. Let's take a look at this calculation. So we have two factors we have to look at when sizing a cable. The first is the thickness of the cable to see if it's rated for the calculated current and the second one is for the voltage drop. And the first what we see here is the minimum wire size for the current. So we can see we need a 6 mm square or 10 gauge cable. And the second is for the voltage drop. This is the calculation for the voltage drop. So we recommend a 16.79 mm square cable. And round it up, this becomes 25 mm square. And then the calculator chooses the largest wire size between these two, 6 mm and 25. So that becomes 25 mm square or 4 gauge. And the link to the cable is here. The second step is choosing the fuse sizing. We include a safety factor of 1.25. So the current in this cable, which is calculated previously here, is 44.47 amps. 
and we already chose a 25 mm or 4 gauge cable and if it's rated for 105 degrees Celsius it can carry a maximum current of 160 amps. So we can choose a fuse size between 50 amps and 125 amps. So it recommends a 50 amp MIDI fuse. And here is the detailed check of the voltage drop. And at the bottom of the page you can also see what kind of formulas we have used. Let me show you a second example from one of my previous videos. We had a 12 volt starter system and a 24 volt household battery and the current was 15 amps. So we're using a 12, 24, 15 Victron Orion TR and we were using 90 degrees Celsius cable. And we also had the measurements in meters. From the starter battery it was 2 meters and from the DC to DC charger to the household battery that was 5 meters. So now we can take a look at the results. And this is just the normal results. But here on the output we have a warning. So let me explain the warning. So the first one is the minimum wire size for the current. And we need 14 gauge. And the minimum wire size for the voltage drop is 4 millimeters. So it recommends a 4 millimeter square or 12 gauge cable. However, there is not a 20 amp MIDI fuse. So we need to use a 30 amp MIDI fuse because that's the smallest available MIDI fuse size. So the calculator recommends to use a larger gauge of 12 gauge and the 30 amp MIDI fuse. Because if we were to use a 4 mm square or 12 gauge, then the 30 amp fuse wouldn't protect the cable. So that's why we have to bump it up to 6 mm square or 10 gauge. A common question I hear often is that if I lose voltage in the cable, won't my 12 volt battery never reach full charge? That sounds logical, but in normal charging behavior, it doesn't work that way, because charging current is not constant from 0 to 100%. At the beginning of charging, the charger is pushing high current, so the voltage drop is higher, and as the battery gradually fills up, the internal resistance of the battery increases and the current drops. When the current will drop, the voltage goes down with it as well. Let me show you with an example. So initially, when we start charging the battery at a high current, let's say 15 amps, and the resistance of the wires is 0 0.04 ohms, we have a 0.6 volt voltage drop. So we can only see 13.8 volts at the battery terminals. This is not sufficient to charge it all the way to 100%. But later, when the current tapers down, when the battery is getting almost full, we have for example 5 amps and the same resistance, and now we have a 0.2 volt voltage drop. So now the battery is getting charged to 14.2 volts. And if we lower the current even more, it will reach 14.4 volts or 100% charge state. So yes, early on you will see a reduced voltage at the battery terminals, but as the battery approaches 100%, the current and voltage drop reduces. Any feedback or improvements I can make to the calculator is welcome. Please share your feedback in the comments. I will leave a link to it in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.